In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a saloon and spa website using WordPress. You don't need to have any kind of technical knowledge or any kind of website creation knowledge to create this kind of website. You can create this kind of website by following this step by step tutorial for your business or for your clients. Furthermore, I have attached all the resources that I have used in order to create this website. Before we dive into this video, have a look at my channel. There, I have a number of videos related to WordPress and website creation. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates. So without further ado, let's get started now. So right here, you can see that I have this fresh WordPress installed on my hosting. If you don't know how to install WordPress, I have a number of tutorials available on my channel. You can go ahead and watch them. So right here, I have this fresh WordPress installed. So the first thing that you have to do is to go to the dashboard of your website. And once you are in the dashboard, what you will have to do is to head to the appearance and then click on this themes. Once you'll click on this themes, click on this add new button. And from here, you will have to install this theme, hello Elementor. So click on this install button and once you'll click on this install, click on activate. Once the theme will get activated, it will say you to install Elementor. Click on this install Elementor button and it will start installing the Elementor. Click on this activate plugin so that the Elementor page builder will get activated. So right here you can see the Elementor page builder is activated. I'll click on this tiny cross icon here and it will get us back to the dashboard. The next thing that you have to do is to click on this plugins and then click on add new. And from here, you want to search for Invoto elements. So search for Invoto elements here and you want to install this plugin here. Click on this install now button and then activate this plugin. So now we have this plugin activated. The next thing that I want to do is to hover over here elements and then you can click on this installed kits so what you will have to do is to click on this plus icon here and then you want to select the kit that i will provide you in the description of the video so download and import this kit and it will appear just like this so right here you can see it says attention there are seven requirements so we need to fulfill these requirements so i'll click on this install requirement button and these are all the plugins that we require in order to create our website. So for now, I'll uncheck this and then for the rest of them, I'll click on install above selected requirements. And then we'll just have to wait until all of these will get installed. And now right here, you can see all of those requirements are installed. The only thing that I have to do is to install the Elementor Pro. So in order to install the Elementor Pro, I'll have to upload that plugin. So I'll upload that plugin, choose my file. I'll go to my downloads and then I'll choose the Elementor Pro. And then I'll click on this install now button. And once I will do that, the Elementor Pro will start getting installed. So right here you can see it is installed. I'll have to click on this activate plugin. And now our Elementor Pro will get activated on our website. So right now we have all of these plugins and we have successfully fulfilled all the requirements that we needed in order to create our website. Next up, hover over these elements again and then click on this installed kits. Now from here, choose the kit that we have imported and first of all, click on import template button here. Once that is done, the next step, what we'll have to do is to go ahead and start creating our pages. So for this website, I want to create a home page and then services pages, about page, FAQs, contact, and we can also create, say a blog page. So I'll click on these pages here and then by default, WordPress comes with these pages. Click here and select all of them and then click on move to trash, click apply and all of these pages will get removed. Now click on this add new button in order to create our pages. Now from here, these three tiny dots, click here 
and then by default you might get this one as full screen mode you can click here in order to hide the full screen mode so right here you can add the title of the page so the title of the page is home and from here this is important thing make sure you choose elementor full width then click publish and now our home page is published next up we'll have to create some other pages so let's just create a services page here let's choose the template as elementor full width and then click on publish next up click on this add new button and this time create an about page and then make sure you choose the elementor full width as template and hit publish next up click on add new page again and this time let's create a blog page choose a template choose elementor full width and publish this one now the final page the contact page type contact contact here and then choose elementor full width hit publish so if i click on this all pages now right here you can see these are all the pages that we have created so far now what we'll have to do is to create the menu if we go to the front end of our website this is how it is looking but this is not what we need we need to create a navigation menu so in order to create the navigation menu hover over to this appearance and then click on this menus once you'll click on this menus you will see this kind of window from here type in the menu name so i'll generally type main menu and then click on this create menu button so now here you can see our menu is created right here you will see all the pages that we have created click on this view all button so that we'll have all the pages i'll click on this select all and then i'll click on add to menu and this will automatically add all the pages to the navigation menu i'll get rid of this custom link item here and now we can start rearranging this item so rearranging is actually very simple just click any of these items and then hold and drag anywhere you want so i want to have home as my first page then i want to have services page and then we can have blog about and contact make sure you choose this as header and then right here you will see this save menu button click on save menu and this will save the menu and now we have created our menu before we dive into creating the pages let's just name our website so for that click on this hover over these settings and then click on general from here you will see this title so you'll have to specify the page title that will be the name of your website so for now i'll type it as spa and saloon website and notice here whatever thing i type in here it will automatically get updated here you only need to update the site title here if you want you can include a tagline here as well and then after that click on save changes and now this is the title of our website the next thing that you have to do is to make the home page as the front page of our website goes right now you can see this is our front page and this is not what we want we need a blank page in order to create our website so i'll go back and from here in the reading tab you will see this option a static page choose home from here and then click on save changes and now if i refresh this page you can see now we only have this header and this footer here and everything is black next up what you have to do is to click on this permalinks and make sure you choose the post name and then click on save changes now everything is aligned and now we can actually start creating our website so we generally start creating by creating the header and then the footer for the website so let's just start by creating the header so in order to create the header hover over to these templates and then click on this theme builder so from this theme builder you will see this header click on this header and then click on this add new button here and you will have to wait until the elementor page builder will get loaded 
So here you can see Elementor Page Builder is loaded. Click on this cross icon here. Also click on this cross icon again. And once again, click on this cross icon. Now this green icon here, click there and then choose the kit that we installed. And for now we are looking at header. So right here you can see there is the header. I'll click on this insert template button here and it will start inserting the template. And here you can see there is our header already created. Once you will see this one here, click on this publish button and then make sure you choose a condition. For that, click on add condition and make sure you choose entire site. Click on save and close. And now if I go back to our website and if I refresh our website, you can see here is our header. Next up, what we'll have to do is to create a footer. So for that, first of all, click on this icon here and then click exit. It will ask you where you want to go. So make sure you choose this post and then click apply. It will say that the changes are not saved. So before we do that, once again, click on this update button. Now click exit and it will take you here in the WordPress dashboard. I generally want to keep everything with the simple names. So I'll get rid of anything extra and only keep header and then I'll click update. Now click on theme builder again. This time choose footer and then click on add new button again. So you'll again have to wait until the Elementor page builder will get loaded. And right here, you can see here is our footer. Everything is ready inside the footer. You can change this thing here by simply clicking there. And right here, you can see all the text. You can change the year to make it 2023. And then the site title, I want to name it as Saloon and Spa website so in this way you can change any of these text then this is the navigation menu so this is the main menu that we have created you can also change this logo by clicking here and then you can click on this media library to see whatever things are available there but if you want to upload your own logo make sure you remain on this upload files and then you will have to click on select files and then anywhere from your computer you can choose the logo now I'll click on this publish button and then I'll have to choose a condition. So make sure you choose entire site and then click on save and close. Now, if I go back to the website and if I hit refresh, right here, you can see there is our footer. Now you notice one thing that the logo inside our header is not clickable. So we'll have to make this one clickable. So in order to make this one clickable, we'll again have to go back to the header. But before that, let's just remove these unnecessary words from there. And let's just keep a simple name footer. So I'll go back to the theme builder again. This time I'll go to this header. And then we can click on this edit button. So here is our header. Uh, here is our logo. Click on the logo and then from the link, now you can see it is none. Click here and then click on custom URL. From here, click on this tiny icon that says dynamic tags. And from here, click on this site URL and it will automatically start fetching your website URL. Now, if I go back to our website and if I refresh this, now this is clickable. So I'll go back and this time I want to go back and I'll click exit. Right here you can see this is our header. So by now we have created our header and footer. So let's just begin by creating this home page. So in order to create the home page, go to these pages. And then here is our home. Click on this edit button. Click on this edit with Elementor button right here until you will see that the Elementor page builder is loaded. From here, click on this icon, choose the kit that we are using. And then from here, this is the template we wanna import. So click on insert template. This is the home page. We'll have to wait until this will get imported. 
So right here you can see all of this page is automatically imported on our website. Now in order to change anything on this page, just click on this title. For example, you want to change this title. So click on this title and start typing in your title here. So for example, beauty, saloon and spa services in your area anything like that you can choose any title that you want next up in order to change this content click here and then remove this one and you can type in your content in order to change the text on the button click on the button and then instead of this learn more you can say contact us or something like that so this one right here is an image. If you want to use your images, you can click on this image, click on this image, and then upload your own images here. So down here, you can see everything is created and you can easily change any titles here, any images here, and any content here. These are special offers. These are for the testimonials and there are why choose a section. This one is for the promo and this one particularly for the blog post. This is your lead form that will collect the user information and this is for the FAQ section. So for now, I'll click on this update button. And now if we go back to our website and if I hit refresh, right here you can see this is how our website is looking. So we have just created this home page. Let's just create this services page. So in order to create the services page, go back and then click on this exit. Then click on this all pages, the services, click on this edit button and then click on edit with Elementor. From there, click on this green icon, choose the template kit. And this time we want to use this services. Click on this template, insert template, and just wait until this will get imported. So right here you can see the services page is also imported. And the concept is same. You will have to edit anything if you want. Click on the element. And then for example, for the testimonial, click on this testimonials. Here are all the testimonials. Click on this tab, you can type in your testimonial, the designation and the client name. And in order to change these background images, click on this six dot icon here, click on this style tab, and then here is the image. Click on this image, then from the media library, you can choose any other image. So for example, if I want to use this image, I can choose the image and then I can click select. And right here you can see here is the image. So in this way, you can change any of these images for these special offers. I'll click here and right here you can see back. So here it will say body treatments and all of this content and here is the background. So from here you can change the images as well. So in this way you can change any of these things from this page as well. So I'll click on this update button. Now if I go here and if I click on this services page, here you can see our services page is created. This is that much simple. Next up, I want to create this about page. So in order to create the about page, I'll click on this icon and then I'll click on this exit. From here, I'll click on this all pages. And then for the about, I'll click edit. And then I'll click on edit with Elementor again. This time I'll choose this icon. I'll choose the kit that we are using and this time I want to choose an about us page. So I'll click on this about us and I'll click on insert template and it will start importing the template for us. We'll just have to wait until the template will get imported. So here you can see our about page is imported as well. The concept is same. You can edit anything, click on that thing, and then you can change any of these numbers and anything that you are seeing here. After that, click on this update button, and then we can go back. So now our about page is created. 
next step we have to create this contact page so i'll click on this edit button and then click on this edit with elementor button we'll just have to wait until it will get loaded now click on this icon choose this and this time i want to choose the contact page so here is the contact click on this insert template and we'll have to wait until this template will get imported so right here you can see this is already imported and this is how it is looking in order to change this location click on this small pencil icon here and then you can insert your location here you can also add your location in this place and then you can insert your email address in this place here you can insert a phone number as well so i'll click on this update button because our contact page is ready as well now we can go back to the dashboard so from here i'll click on this all pages again and now we have this blog page so i'll click on this edit button and now if i click on this edit with elementor here you will have to click on this green icon click on this kit and this time choose a blog page so here is the blog page click on this insert template and it will start importing the template for you so right here you can see it has already imported the template so for now we don't have blog post created I'll show you just now that how you can create the blog post in WordPress. So for now, just update this one and then go back to the dashboard. Now, if we go back to our website and if I click on this blog, right here, you can see here is our page. If I click on about, here is our about page. And if I click on contact, here is our contact page. So we have created all of these pages now. We just need to insert some blog post. So in order to insert the blog post, head over to this post section. Here is the hello world, a default blog post. In order to add your post, click on this add new button. I'll just get some lorium ipsum from internet. So I'll search for lorium ipsum and the first website is here. I'll click on this generate lorem ipsum button and here is a lot of lorem ipsum content so i'll copy this lorem ipsum content and i'll paste this content here now i want to add some title for this blog post i'll copy some of this part and then i'll insert here and it will serve as the title here you can specify the featured image so for the featured image Click on featured image and you can choose one of these featured images. So I'll choose this image as a featured image. And then you can click on select featured image or set featured image here. After that, click publish. And now this blog post is published. Now if I go to the blog page again, here you can see this is our blog post so this is how you can add as many blog posts as you want and they will appear just like this here is another thing if i click on this blog post you can see this template is pretty much basic we have to insert a template for the blog post so in order to insert that template head over to these templates and then the theme builder inside the theme builder what you will have to do is to search for this single post and then click on this add new button right here and once the elementor page builder will get loaded right here click on this icon again choose the kit and this time what you have to do is to choose this single post template so click on this insert template here So by default, you will see this template looking something like this. Don't worry if you don't see anything here. Just import this template and then click publish. For the conditions, click on add condition and instead of all singulars, click on posts and then click on save and close. Now if I go back here and if I refresh this one, you can see our template is totally different. So in this way, you can add a template or a different 
view for your blog post on your website. So now we have created all of these pages, including the blog post. This is a time for us to connect these buttons that we are seeing here on the different pages of our website. So in order to connect this button, so for example, for the home page, what I'll do is to hover over here where it says edit with Elementor. I'll click on edit with Elementor button here. And then once the Elementor page builder will get loaded, click on the button. And for now it says contact us. So I want to connect this button with the contact page. So here in the link, I'll remove this hash and I'll search for contact and then I'll choose the contact page. Same way, I can connect this button with the about page. And then all of these services we can connect with the services page. So for that, click on this read more and then click on this enable button. And here you can insert the button as well if you want. But for now, I don't want any button here. Here you can see we have some buttons, so click here and then click on this back and here where it says learn more, you can insert a link and this time I want it to go to services page. So I'll type in service and insert the service page here. I want to do the same thing there. I'll connect these button with the services as well. Down there we have this button as well. I can connect this button with the about page. So the about page here and this more articles. I want to connect this one with the blog page. So this will go to the blog page and that's it. Now I'll hit update. Now if we go to the front end of our, our website, we can view that what we have created. So right here, you can see that this is what we have created. This is a saloon and spa website you can use to showcase any kind of saloon and spa related services that you offer to your clients. So I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have learned something new from this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to get the latest video updates. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.